Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and something interesting is going on. Developers are hard at work rebalancing the combat and now the aim is for automatic melee weapons and some more. But let's uh, check the notes first and then I'm doing my investigation. What does it mean to you? So here are the notes. I need to say it sounds quite complicated what is exactly happening as look at first one. Combat balance changes. Remove a hidden minus 50% damage debuff from all two-handed automatic melee weapons. I did not even know such thing existed. Supposedly it did. So is that better now? We'll see in a moment because that's not all they did. The following mods now add 60% elemental damage and reduces physical damage by 40%. I will show you the comparison in game how it looked like live versus public test server based on auto axe. I will not test every single weapon. Uh, this video would be very long, but if you are interested, I will be testing more during the next week on Twitch, on live streams. So we'll be going more in depth even than in this video. And mods are affecting following weapons, Auto Axe, Boost Blade, Chinese Officer Sword, Shepherd's Crook, Ship Squatch Staff, Ship Squatch Club, Hatchet, Assault Drum Blade, Levolutionary Sword, Baton, Vault 63 Shock Baton, that's new weapon, Auto Axe, Chainsaw, what about the burning mode, yeah, the Chainsaw and Auto Axe is the ones that interest me the most, the two MVP of Fallout 76 melee builds. Uh, but that's not it, there is more. Chainsaw dual bar mod damage bonus reduced from 100% to 50%. Minigun shredder mod damage bonus reduced from 100% to 50%. Why is minigun shredder being attacked? I do not understand. Increase the unmodded damage of the auto axe by 20%. Reducing, increasing, reducing, like those notes are really, like I've I'm confused reading this. That's why I'm saying it's not so easy to know what exactly is the aim. Cattle Prod now does a split of physical and energy damage and does 20% more damage in total. I'm still not convinced anyone will suddenly start using Cattle Prod. This is very underpowered weapon. There are fixes and improvements for all of you worrying about Union Power Armor. It is confirmed here that they fix it all. And we are encouraged to test it on public test server if crafting is working, if loot is dropping correctly. Uh, although it shouldn't drop on dead enemies anymore. It supposedly was a bug and it shouldn't be dropping on dead enemies. Only as a quest rewards, expedition rewards and so on. So there is more explanation about that and more bug fixes about new quest lines. But now important, let's jump into the game live versus public test server, the damage on the weapons as well as actual performance. In case of both public test server and live game version, I tried my best to match my strength. So 42 on one and 42 on another one. The builds are not exactly the same, but I'm not using any melee specific on either one. So on both game versions, there's bloody mess. Uh, to increase damage, there is Nerd Rage, I'm in the bloody trend, I do have mutations, and no melee specific perks on either one. So that's my build on the live game version. So as well, Heavy Gun, a little bit different perks, but there is Bloody Mess, there is Nerd Rage, I'm in the bloody trend with the mutations, including Adrenal Reaction and Twisted Muscles. Now, Auto Axe is the same on both, that's my red upper, Vampire with power attack damage, live game version 131 damage, ballistic 31 energy. Now public test server, public test server, again mutations are here, perks a little bit different but no melee specific and universal damage boosters the same, the strength is matched and the weapon 80 ballistic 38 energy so you can see it's a difference in here 80 38 versus 131 31 
What does it mean in practice? Is it a buff or nerf? Let's try to attack something and see how auto axe performs. So that's the life because ballistic damage is the majority. It's changing after next patch, affecting more weapon, but I will cover this one for this particular video. So let's attack. So it is live game version. We're going to attack the behemoth with auto axe. Not a melee build, but high strength. That's the, how I usually use auto axe. I don't go for full melee build as I don't need to. I apologize if there is any problem with the footage. I have two instances of the game open at once. So my PC is working hard. Now that's the behemoth. That's the live game version. Oh. That's a surprise. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> the behemoth healed. Try again. This time I'm not waiting for him to hit me. Okay, killed. So that's the live game version. Now we are switching to public test server. Now the public test server, we are going after the same behemoth to see if there is a visible difference in combat. I will then do one more test and we go after my look queen, but I will be wearing power armor for the second test to see if that makes a difference as it possibly can. Who knows? So that's the public test server. Of course, I got staggered, but come on. Don't block. I I am pretty sure that's overall buff. What, what's your feeling? Did we did more damage? Okay, we'll be doing the second test. Power armor and my look queen to confirm if it's a buff overall or a nerf. It kind of feel like a buff for those weapons. Okay, by the paint, I can easily recognize that's the live game version. So, live game version test, power armor, slaying some regular Myluk running around. And there is a Myluk Queen, level 100. That's my performance. Hopefully I will not die, power armor should help. That's my performance. Doing these damages. Okay, dead. Now, jumping, switching to public test server different power armor paint so that's the public test server again we are going after a regular my look and then the my look queen with power armor here we go again level 100 so that's perfect the same level my look queen the enemies may not necessarily be exactly the same as part of the rebalancing is some written tweaks to enemies too but we don't have better enemy to compare so now in case of this Smile Queen, oh, this my red upper just broke. It does feel like I'm doing less damage. So, did we lost something related to power armor damage? I was doing more damage without power armor than I'm doing now. Like, this is way more struggle. Look at the damage inflicted on this Smile Queen. What has happened? So what is the aim to be used outside of power armor? Is my power armor negatively impacting somehow auto axe? Is there a bonus on a live game version for auto axe that is lost on PTS when wearing power armor? So that's like, there is more questions than answers. I do understand that. I would like to give you more answers, but that would require extensive investigation. So this is red upper while wearing power armor public test server comparing to same red appa while wearing power armor live game version so what is going on this question is half open still what do you think about this rebalancing effort from bethesda are you happy about it are you afraid of it that what i can show you now i will be doing as i said way more testing this is for now. The notes, the changes are coming. And that's just the beginning. There is more already announced. We don't know exactly the extensive ways Bethesda plan to rebalance everything, but they do say it will be long process. So that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.